The pikelet's a small flatback turtle. Uh, she was found at a local beach uh, very unwell. She was quite underweight, uh, looking very un unhealthy. And so members of our team at Manly Sea Life Sanctuary went down uh, and collected her and brought her back here to undergo rehabilitation. Initially with most turtles found in this condition, rehydration is really important. So we get fluids back into her, make sure she's healthy, antibiotics, and of course establish what the problem is. So in Pikelet's case, she had ingested some plastic, most likely from a balloon. She passed that naturally, but if she was in the wild, she probably wouldn't have survived to that point. Once she uh, became healthy, she developed a really good appetite. She's a great eater. She swims really well. Uh, because she is a sea turtle, it's really important that we minimise the amount of time that she's out of water because no matter how comfortable we make them, it's not natural for turtles to spend much time out of water. So we'll be packing her up in a little animal carrying crate. Uh, she'll then be transferred by road to the airport. We're really grateful that Qantas has been able to help us return her to her home waters of Queensland. We get lots of animals, large, small, and various kinds of uh, birds and exotic animals, which we have to prepare for shipping, uh, get them ready to get loaded to the aircraft, make sure they meet all the requirements, so they're in a safe environment, safe to handle, and basically they can make the journey nice and easy to the aircraft and to their final destination. We get a lot of the big fellas uh, who get all soft and uh, come and start chatting to animals and getting friendly with them. But yeah, it is pretty funny to see. From the freight shed, we'll take the animals down to the cargo uh, hold of the aircraft, either sit at the front or the back of a certain aircraft, where there is certain air conditioning, which uh, their pilots put on. We notify the pilots that animals are coming down, so therefore they prepare the aircraft and uh, make sure the animals are travelling in a nice, safe environment where it's heated and the air conditioning is controlled and uh, monitored throughout the flight. There you go, guys. Thanks, buddy. There's Cheers. Fragile cargo there. First class ticket all the way. So Pikelet has finally arrived to see life in Maluba. She's looking really good. Uh, the folks down at Manly Aquarium have done a great job getting her nurse back to health and quite fattened up. I uh, want to thank our friends at Qantas Airlines for taking great care of her and getting her transported up here. Uh, they did a great job and she's in a great condition. So now we'll get her uh, satellite tagged and return back to the ocean. One of the key aspects of what we do at Manly Sea Life Sanctuary is our Breed Rescue Protect program. Because she was rescued from the wild, uh, it's really important that we give these animals, especially animals like flatback turtles that are endangered across a lot of their range, that we can give them the best chance of survival and that she can then go on to hopefully produce multiple generations to come. And in terms of the protect work that we do, because uh, she did have plastic ingestion, it was humans that caused her illness, it's really important that we spread that word, that litter that goes into the harbour, that goes into the ocean, has a serious detrimental effect on animals, especially turtles. We're here in Bundaberg on the Lady Musgrave experience with Pikelet uh, for the last part of her journey after being rescued at the Manly Sea Life Sanctuary down in Sydney. Pikelet's looking really healthy. We've applied a small microchip pit tag in her and she does have some uh, tags if she does come back ashore. So we can identify her. Uh, hopefully we'll see her in about 10, 15 years nesting on the beaches here in Monrepo or up north. So we'll get ready to let her go.